Nice. Before we begin today's video, guys, I just want to say that our goals for 2021 are to hit 1,000 followers on Twitch and 500 subscribers on YouTube. I think we can blow these goals away, so please do me a favor. Go follow me on Twitch if you aren't already and subscribe to the YouTube. Help us reach our goals. Let's do this together. All right, let's get into the video, guys. Thank you so much. Hey, guys. Third time recording this intro. First time I messed it up. Second time my audio was fucked up. Anyways, messed up. Sorry, I gotta stop swearing as well. Anyways, um, welcome back to episode number two of the 65% win loss challenge. If you haven't seen episode number one, make sure to go check it out. The link will be in the description so you can learn all of the rules that we laid out for the series in that video. And if you have seen it, good job. You're doing good. Um, okay, and uh, we actually messed up in episode number one. We weren't keeping track of our percentage correctly. We started off the, the series at 65%, which doesn't make sense. I should have started at, you know, zero or 100% because we hadn't played any games yet. So, yeah, you know, if I win my first game, it should automatically be 100%. I started off the series at 65%. Got caught up in the title. My bad. Um, but anyways, I just want to let you guys know that we're going to be keeping track. We're going to, first of all, fix the mistake from last episode. It will be updated for this episode correctly. And we're going to be keeping track of our gains in percentage and loss in percentage at the end of the video um, rather than in the middle of the video like we had been doing. That way it's just easier to uh, update all at once rather than trying to update our win-loss percentage. You know, if we lose a game, we lose this much percent, all that stuff. It's hard to, hard to do in the middle of the video. So, yeah, stick around for the end to see where we end this episode at. And before we get into the gameplay, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. It helps me out a ton, and I really appreciate it. We're trying to make big things happen on YouTube this year, and I really need your help. All right, here we go. Playing against Accolade. That's a pretty nice name. He's at 1,212 MMR. He's got 14 MMR on us, and it looks like he is probably <clears throat> either an Xbox or PlayStation player. I can't tell. Let's go. Focus real hard, especially on kickoffs. That's make or break right now. Ooh, he rushed challenge that, and he got the shot on target. Good for him. I honestly was not paying attention to his car. If I had been, I was in a good position to probably take a 50 or beat him, so I gotta pay more attention to his car. I just was not expecting him to challenge there for sure. Let's go for his corner. Ah, uh, we missed the open net shot. Ah, oh, that's just in. I should've challenged. Too much respect. I was expecting the pinch after he didn't take the shot and he just let it let it bounce. We've been beating this guy on kickoff every time so far, so we might get some kickoff goals to get us back in this game. Uh oh. As I say that. He adjusts his kickoff or something. Alright, still early. Two goals down. Plenty of time. Nice. Caught him grabbing boost. Took a shot that took a lot of confidence to take for sure. But we knew if we hit that on target, we were scoring, so... Ah, uh, couldn't get that going towards the net. Hard shot. Not my best challenge. Gave him the uh, open net. Did he miss? Oh, he didn't miss. Maybe had not been worth going for. Ah, uh, I should have stayed further in front of that. I had been doing really good lately. I'm not falling for fake kickoffs. I actually didn't fall for that, I just didn't take a shot. Should have took the shot. Three, three goals with plenty of time left.
This guy rushes, rush challenges everything, so we know that. Alright, he thought we were gonna take mid boost, so he backed off. This guy still rush challenges everything. Early flicks is what we'll have to make it our adjustments for. Ah, I couldn't get that. Yep. Might be good enough. Uh, nice. Just barely. Holy moly. No, why does he beat us so hard on that? No! <laughs> I will lose that challenge! Dude, this guy instant challenges everything. Holy moly. I should have hit it to the side of him instead of trying to go for the, the 50. Just hit it away from him, you know? Kind of like that. That's what I should have done in the last situation. This guy literally has no brain. He just rush challenges everything. And he's playing well. Like, he's definitely a good player, but it's just an annoying strategy. He's not thinking at all. He's just he's just committed to challenging everything right away in this game. Which makes him readable in a sense, but he's still a good player and hard to beat. Scare him with the in and out. I missed the boost. I thought he was going to come try to grab it, honestly. Ah, we're taking bad shots at each other's nets. Gotta watch for the demo here. Might be slowing down a little bit. Ah, I couldn't get the insta flick. And I couldn't hit it around him. Go for the air dribble bump. Or just the air dribble. Because of course, he challenged us instantly. So we had enough time to set it up. Whew. What a save! How did we get back? Guy needs to get off the ball, dude. Throw on a little BM. See if we can tilt him. Uh oh, we gave up the open net. Damn. I should have gone for the demo there. Good landing by him. Presence of mind to just. Stop moving so he doesn't move out of a shootable position on that. Again, that guy literally just goes for every ball instant instant challenge. Good save. Alright, that's it. Almost fucked that up. Again, if I was smart, I could have gone maybe for the bump there, but... Of course old boy's gonna rush the ball. No, we tried. GG. We were gonna tell that guy, <laughs> your ball chasing uh, makes your gameplay very predictable, very readable.
you should probably switch it up tip for you guys don't be so predictable don't stick to one uh one strategy the entire game because as you saw we punished him a lot for just being able to read that he was going to go instantly every time you need to be able to switch up your gameplay i'm not saying that i'm better than him in any way because obviously he beat me he was a really good player has really good mechanics really good uh, game sense, but needs to not just ball chase the whole game if he really wants to go far. We'll back off here. Yeah, and we'll keep backing off and grabbing the boost. There we go. Nice. So we got our first loss of the season, or not of the season, of the series, boys. <laughs> I wish of the season. We'll guard our net here. We gotta watch for this flat car flick. Those are pretty deadly. I meant to double jump there, that's my bad. 100% should have double jumped or flipped, I don't know why I didn't, I just hit A. Alright. Garbage goal that we gave up. Not uh, showing any display of anything to be afraid of yet. Nice. Snuck it past him before we got killed. Saw the fake kickoff, tried to take the shot. He didn't go for the boost right away, which is what kept him uh, alive there. Aw, oh, I tried bumping him into it. That was my only hope. Good air dribble bump. Gonna have to watch for those. Seems like he's pretty comfortable going for those. Like he's one of his, his top tier plays right there. He tried bumping him into it. Almost got it. Mm. That would have been a pretty nice save if we did get it. Good possession play. He missed the boost though, so. Oh, what a flick. Hmm. Not honestly expecting him to flick that over me there. Just a long car play. Not used to playing against log cars very often in 1v1, so don't know the ins and outs. I just know I gotta gotta watch that front flip flick. Cause those will sky over you. Apparently gotta watch the side flip flicks too. Ah, uh, we were only in front of him, but he got our boost, but it's whatever. Play the 50 there in case he does try to force the challenge. And if not, then we're, we're there for the boost. I don't know how he's getting to that ball. Got him. We got his ass. <laughs> so good. Mm. Oh my gosh, what is that touch? Where is my demo there? Come on. This freaking game screw me over. Ah, we got ourselves scored on now because we don't get our demos. We never get our demos in this car. It's so annoying. I think that would have been a demo all day, baby. Uh, Fenix broke. That's the one thing Fenix not as good as Octane for is demos. Honestly, Octane over or Fenix over Octane for everything except demos. Bug. Not the best kickoff. We were off to the left a little bit. Going for the boost? Yeah. We can uh, be patient here. Not patient, but. Ah, it gets us. Shit. Alright, plenty of time left. Only two goals down. 
I should have jumped. I saw the demo coming 100%, but I thought I could stop, hit the brakes, and he would fly past me, but he did not. I should have jumped, should have jumped. I'll have to jump over demos from now on instead of trying to stop past them. The play in 1v1s might be too, for sure. Uh, just go for the jump. If they jump to get the demo, then they're probably putting themselves out of position to follow up their, their shot afterwards. That's probably the better option, to jump. And here I just take the insta shot because I know he's low on boost. We beat him to that boost and he still turned in an aggressive position. So we just knew if he took the fast shot on target, he wouldn't be able to get up in time and save it. Force him to go back. To turn the favor on the demos. He's watching the replay, oh gosh. Is he typing? I hope so. <sighs> nice. Good challenge win. Played that really smart. Delayed our shot and just took the challenge behind him. We knew if we shot that, he was definitely saving it, so there's no point in shooting it. Damn. Obviously, they were not trying to get spun out. Nice air dribble. He knows that he has to try to spin me out there, and... I don't know. Played the boost there. I don't know if that was a bad call or what. I just felt like there was a chance that I got it. I felt like there was also a chance that I demoed him, so I felt like it was pretty worth trying to go for that. Although it might not have been in hindsight. I don't know. Hindsight's 2020. Fuck. Wait. Messing up? Nah. Obviously, really weak challenge there. I was playing off the assumption that maybe he doesn't challenge that knowing that it was such a bad play by me to go for that he just will not assume that I go for it, but it's okay. Just explaining what my brain's thinking in each of these plays. Not that that's necessarily the, a good call or not. Just explaining what I'm thinking in each situation. This should come mid for a shot. That's a, that's a big habit that a lot of people, including myself, have when they first start playing ones is they don't take their open net shots. Like, a lot of people in that situation will be like tempted to go for the boost instead of taking the shot. God damn. Can't believe I just let him score that. I had no power on my back flip flip. When people start faking kickoffs, I just either either pop the ball high or take it to the side boost. Because obviously today my trying to start a dribble or a flick on zero boost by the time I get up to the ball is not working. You know? So I just got to roll it to the side or take a pop shot. Nice shot. Okay. He's mad about the demos. Still a minute left. We just gotta keep doing our thing and hope that he's tilted more than we are, you know? Let him throw with the trash talk. A lot of the time if people are trash talking, they're actually the ones who are more tilted. So far, it's proving to have worked. He gave up a goal that was pretty uh, poor.
Aw, oh, but then we do the same. They want a challenge in your corner, you always accept that challenge. Uh oh. Oh, we can't get the demo there. Damn, that sucks. This one? Damn. Oh, how did I not get into that? <laughs> Got him. Alright, guys, so what do we do? Lose both games for today? That kind of sucks, but... They were good games. We played, honestly, pretty well. We just we just got beat barely both games. Um, I don't think we we didn't miss any open nets or anything like that. We didn't score any double taps, so it's just purely this this episode is just purely losses, and it's gonna bring our percentage down. That's two losses. We're three and two. So let's find out what that puts us at, and let's put it on the screen.